All right, what's up guys? Phil here from FHL Creative. Uh, today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a quick t-shirt design using Pack One uh, Light, uh, my first uh, concrete texture pack on Creative Market. Um, so here we go, we're gonna try and create this guy. Um, I'm from Athens, Georgia. It only makes sense to do a farmer's market tea um, because the farmer's market's awesome. So um, yeah, I just put this together the other day. I'm gonna show you how to make it in just a couple minutes. Um, from scratch to final product. So we're gonna go get that. We're gonna shoot for something that looks like this on a t-shirt. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're gonna open up Illustrator, go ahead and create a new document. I like to design, uh, when I'm doing t-shirt design, I like to build it at 14 by 20 inches. Um, it's a pretty good size for a palette on a screen print palette. So uh, it's a good um, size to start with. So go ahead and open that up. Um, for my color palette, for my t-shirt color, I actually pulled it from Next Level. Next Level's got great t-shirts. Um, so I'm pulling actually the espresso, the espresso color here. Um, and I'm just gonna paste that right into Illustrator. Uh, and I'm just gonna draw myself a little background image here, um, just to kind of get t-shirt background color on lock. Boop, there's my espresso. Go ahead and lock that in place. Okay, uh, let's take a look at our, here's what we're gonna shoot for. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this in here so we can see exactly what we're gonna try and make. Um, so we're gonna make something similar to this. We can keep that handy. Uh, I've got a couple elements here uh, that I'm gonna use um, for some help. This is uh, from a book that I've got here at my office. Um, I just took a picture, this is my iPhone, uh, vector traced in Illustrator. Um, and this is a map of Georgia. Um, with a little star over Athens. So, boom, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and take this here chicken, put it over here, we're gonna paste it. Okay, um, so we got our chicken. Actually, I'll go ahead and get the Georgia as well. Um, go ahead, just so he's on here. And then I'll uh, go ahead and create a color palette that we may wanna use. Uh, I just like to draw a couple little squares for my color palette. Um, do that, make it two color. Remember the more colors you print on a t-shirt, the more expensive it's gonna be. So we try to keep it low color. So I'm gonna try and keep this guy at a two color print job. Um, let's go ahead and find a nice swatch uh, to use. Looks like I kinda went with an off white. Uh, so I'm gonna try and find something along those lines. Maybe something like that. Um, and then a variation of our background color. Uh, so let's see. I'm gonna switch over to HSB. Let's make it a little brighter. I think that'll probably work. It's enough contrast. Okay, and then we need our actual text here. Let's uh, type the Athens Farmers Market. Center that up. Okay. Now I used uh, some free Lost Type company fonts here. Um, this one being Sullivan. Um, so let's see, let's increase some character spacing, decrease the line height, maybe to about like that. Okay kind of seeing our text there. We're also gonna have local and sustainable Athens, Georgia. Let's do local and sustainable Athens, Georgia. Okay, I used a font called Blanche for that text. So we're gonna see, I believe it was that one. Shrink that guy down. All right, increase some line height. We'll edit that some more later. Okay, well, let's go ahead and pull in some texture. We'll go ahead and get this background picture looking good um, before we work on that text over the top. So I'm gonna pull my kit. Uh, let's see here, my pack one. Okay, I'm gonna be working from, you have all these files uh, that'll be in the pack one folder for you, um, whatever you're most, most comfortable with, um, you can use that. It's got this preview of light and uh, 
of the spray and the knockout versions of the light texture. Uh, I'm going to start with the knockout because I want a good solid um, kind of grungy distressed looking thing um, like you can kind of see right there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my open up my knockout pack. Okay now these are vector so I'm going to select that number eight. Okay so there is our sweet vector knockout texture. So I'm just going to color sample that. Whoops. Drop that behind our image. Okay, now I want the image to be a knockout of this background texture. So I'm just going to click on my chicken, color sample my background, and there you go. Uh, and then I'm just going to mess with this little guy. It's a good thing about textures, if you kind of skew them a little bit, it doesn't really hurt them that much. So let's get that. So we got a nice kind of edge there. Looking good, looking good. Okay, now if we wanted to actually, like in this image over here, I've, I've focused in more on the head of the chicken, took out some of the body, so all I need to do to do that is just move this up. And there you go. So we've got our knockout over the top of it there. And then our background. So we're going to go ahead and highlight both of those. Group them. We'll hide those points so they're not in our way. Um, go ahead and throw down this local and sustainable text. Okay, I'll go ahead and just, uh, let's see. I think I want that a little smaller. Maybe 150 on my character spacing. Go ahead and create outlines out of that. Um, and then I'm going to throw my state of Georgia down here. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to have that as a nice little, instead of having a comma after Athens, we'll just have an actual state. Color sample that guy. Color sample the star. Okay. So we're looking pretty good down here. All right, I can go ahead and let's see, group those guys. Now our little header, uh, let's see. So I've got actually, I layered um, this Sullivan type on top of itself and use some different variations. So I'm gonna actually copy this and paste it. I'm gonna freeze that top one. And then I'm going to choose the background color and I'm going to get the fill version. So you can see it filled in that fill version, fills in that text right there. And then I'm going to make a copy of that filled version. I'm just going to create a little shadow back here. Let's see. See so how we did that shadow on this guy? So. Let's create a little shadow. Okay, I'm gonna unlock that text, lock that background back, but now we've got three layers of text here. Group that, and we're just gonna apply a little skew to this. Actually, a little shear. Let's do a vertical shear. Go ahead and give me a preview. Whoop. Okay, I want it to be about like that. It's looking nice. Okay. Kind of place that where you want it. All right, and now we can apply some textures over the top of this. And so we're going to use um, some objects from Spray. Uh, from the concrete light. So this is super easy. Um, we're just going to take, let's see, I'm going to take number three, copy and paste that here. So you got, got all our nice little texture. Sample that background color. Drag it down in there and look at that. Got some nice easy overlays. Let's get another one. Let's try number two. 
paste that in there. This one I'm going to rotate, shrink it down a bit. I'm going to focus this one on our text on the top and bottom here. So I'm going to do that. So that applies a nice uh, texture to that specifically over that text. And we're going to do the same thing down here to the bottom. And really this can get as textured as you want it. You can duplicate. Um, duplicate, move around, bigger, smaller. You can apply all kinds of uh, just layers of texture on these things. So there you go. Pretty much got pretty close to what our desired goal was. Um, that is a quick t-shirt design using Vector Concrete Textures Pack 1. Thanks for watching.